So most people confuse this about electric fields. What is the electric field strength, the midpoint between the charges? Remember, the electric fields come out of a positive charge, but they also they go into a negative charge like this. So let's put a small positive test charge right over here. This little charge will be repelled by the positive E, but it will also be attracted towards the negative E. So even though this is negative, what we need to do is add the magnitudes of the two electric fields because they are going in the same direction. E total will just be equal to E over 4 pi epsilon naught r squared plus E over 4 pi epsilon naught r squared which is of course equal to 2 E over 4 pi epsilon naught r squared which is equal to 2 times 1.6 times 10 to the power of minus 19 divide that by 4 pi times 8.85 times 10 to the power of minus 12 times the midpoint the midpoint distance squared so it's going to be 0.5 squared and if we put this into a calculator we are going to get 1.15 Five, let's call it 1.2 times 10 to the power of minus 8 newtons per coulomb. Notice something really interesting. So if I was to just change this to a positive charge, the two electric fields will now be going in opposite directions and the two vectors would cancel out, leaving a net electric field of zero. But what if we needed to find the electric potential at the midpoint. Remember, the electric potential is actually a scalar quantity. This means that we don't have to worry about drawing arrows and all we need to do is sum up the algebraic expressions. So the total electric potential will be equal to the electric potential uh, from this. Uh, let's say that the distance is, once again, I'm just going to call it r in general, will just be equal to plus e over 4 pi epsilon naught r plus minus e over 4 pi epsilon naught r. And I don't need a calculator to say that those will fully cancel out, leaving a net electric potential of zero. Now, in order to get a really good understanding of physics and be really good at solving problems, you need to have a look at this video in which I go over a technique to allow you to solve problems faster. And this video is just over here.